it was just such an exciting day to know that Brownsville would never be the same again, but in a good way, that everything was about to change. Construction now underway on what could be the future of space travel. SpaceX today broke ground on a new launch facility in South Texas. It's a project millions of dollars in the making. This news clip is from September 22nd, 2014, the day SpaceX broke ground in Boca Chica on a project that not only changed the area forever, but one that, if successful, will propel humanity further than ever before. It was just such an exciting day to know that Brownsville would never be the same again, but in a good way. Right. Right. Um, that everything was about to change. I wanted to talk to someone who's witnessed SpaceX's journey here in Texas over the last nine years. I reached out to Jessica Tetro. I'm born and raised in Brownsville. Right now, she's busy campaigning for mayor, but she took some time out of her day to reflect on SpaceX's journey with me. This feels great. This, it feels like the future. So this is one of the shovels that was used for the groundbreaking ceremony. Um, I eventually became the chair of our economic development corporation. And during that time, it was gifted to me. And so in return, I gifted it to the city because it's so historical and has so much significance. I thought it would be best here. <laughs> and you were there, right? You, yes, you, yes. You used the shovel. Yes, this could be my shovel. <laughs> it's a one in seven chance. What was that day like? Um, it was really exciting. I'll never forget um, when we boarded the buses and, and we're heading out there. It was just a very surreal moment to feel and to know that the future was being born, right? Like there's, everybody kept saying, this is so historical, historical, but it didn't feel historical. It felt like the future, if that makes sense. And I'll never forget, <laughs> there were signs all over the fences that said like, oh, welcome Elon Musk. And there's just little signs and flags and banners. And we're making real progress towards a future where, uh, where humanity is a space bearing civilization. Um, and, and ultimately, um, you, in order for that to occur, they have to be hundreds of rock, rock, uh, orbital rocket launches per year. Before SpaceX broke ground in Texas, they were weighing multiple options with no guarantee of the Lone Star State as the winner. At that time, it was not a given. They were also explore, exploring Florida. They were also exploring um, maybe perhaps doing the launch site in Puerto Rico, um, also in Georgia. So it was never a given right. from day one. It was always explained, this might not come here, don't get too excited, um, we just have plans and this might work, but we have other sites that will also work if this doesn't work out. We, we looked all through through the country um, and, and looked at all the possibilities um, and I really have to say that we thought this was the, the best place to, to put it. The SpaceX South Texas launch site is right along Boca Chica Beach. This is less than 10 miles from Brownsville city limits. The original purpose and time frame for launches have both changed since its big celebratory groundbreaking nearly a decade ago. They expect the first launches here in 2016. Musk says they will start out with about 12 launches a year here, building up then to greater numbers. While reporters told the public launches would start in 2016, we still have yet to see a fully stacked Starship launch. But as of this video release, that date could finally be in April of 2023. Still, we've had action and excitement over the years, with it all starting in 2019 with SpaceX's 150-meter Starhopper test. The time frame isn't the only moving target. The purpose of the site also changed from its original purpose. Right now, the missions will be primarily for clients to place commercial satellites into orbit. It was supposed to support Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches, but in 2018, SpaceX announced a change of plans, stating the site would be used exclusively for SpaceX's next generation launch vehicle, Starship. You have really seen the development of SpaceX, you know, coming to Brownsville and changing everything here since the beginning. So walk me through that journey. So the really cool coincidence is when I came in 12 years ago, a couple of months later, I'll never forget, I was walking down the hallway and the Economic Development Council was here with these beautiful women in suits. And I said, I wonder what's going on. Well, it doesn't pertain to me. And then sure enough, the first item on our, on our um, agenda 
was this top secret project and nobody could know about it and it was very, very secretive. And sure enough, it was SpaceX. It was an executive session and that's when it was first presented. So I remember being in the room and hearing about all the plans. They were different then. It was to launch Falcon 9. And I just like from the second that they started explaining, I, I felt it and I had so much hope that this is what we had been waiting for all this time. This was this incredible thing that was gonna happen to Brownsville. And I remember some of the people in the room like didn't understand. They were making jokes like, oh, can I launch so-and-so to the moon and whatnot? And I was sitting there thinking like, you don't understand to be launched somewhere is an honor, right? Like it's not a, it's like this could really happen. And yeah. I just, from day one, it captivated my heart and I believed in it. And I knew that that was gonna be the game changer for Brownsville and what we had always been waiting for. I just, I can't explain, I felt it ever since I was little that something really good was gonna come and it was that. SpaceX has not only changed the look of Boca Chica Beach because yeah, those rockets are hard to miss on the side of the road. In fact, look at this artist's depiction from 2014 of what their facility was supposed to look like. Obviously, Starbase is a much more sophisticated animal than this artist imagined. But SpaceX has also created a lot of hope in the southern Texas town in a time when they really needed it. During that time, it was very hard for Brownsville. A lot of people were losing homes. It was a, a disaster. There were a lot of people that were in need, people that were out of work. The struggle was real, people constantly reaching out. If you know of any jobs, please let me know. Not only did it create a lot of jobs, but the hope that was restored with it. Yeah. Um, the hope that the future is worth believing in and it's not a scary place and good things happen when you work hard. So it was just a really good opportunity that we really needed. In fact, this is a clip from the latest State of the City Address. SpaceX employed more than 1,600 direct employees at Starbase. More importantly, with 71% of those residents of the Rio Grande Valley. In the beginning, you really had to advocate for this and like let people know that this should be taken seriously and like this to, to believe in it. Why was that so, you know, just maybe tell me how the public perception has changed. I think when it was first proposed, a lot of people just didn't believe that a rocket would come to this area. There were so many obstacles. The state legislature had to be changed because you were not able to close the beach, right? There's just a lot of work that went behind it, closing streets, closing roads, making sure that SpaceX could secure the property and that people were not trying to gouge prices for them. What I remember the most is through every obstacle and every challenge, just that determination mm -hmm. of this has to happen, not for us, not that we gain anything from it, but for the future. Mm -hmm. um, and back then it wasn't Starship mission, it was uh, Falcon launching satellites and it was just to create these jobs. The, yeah. the goal was that people needed to work and SpaceX would provide work. As plans started to change and we realized the impact of Starship and what it would be and, and what it would become and the mission to save humanity. Yeah. It just like, it, it's so surreal to even talk about or, or wrap your head around. I couldn't talk about growth without talking about SpaceX. But it's an honor. Mm -hmm. And so from day one, it went from being something that was gonna provide a lot of jobs and it has tenfold, but it's an honor that Brownsville has been able to be a part of this history. Well, and it's, it's impacting everyone, humanity, like it's not just Texas, it's, I, I wish more people knew about it, right? And that's yeah. part of my goal on Ellie in Space is to like, mm. I don't think enough people know even what Starship is. <laughs> the significance of yeah. it, right? And that it's- and what um, it means and will mean as it progresses further. Now, what is that uh, little, what is this? So this is from the supplier day. So once a year, SpaceX will have a vendor fair. As you can see, we're building a uh, production facility here, a real production facility for uh, a Starship and making great progress. But he needs workers for that place right there. That is the UTRGV Stargate Center near Boca Chica launch site. Elon Musk, founder and CEO of SpaceX in the Valley today and they'll come into the community. They hire hundreds of people. They post all of their available positions and people come from all over the state. I mean, even the United States, I know people that have come from Louisiana that have found work. Um, wow. They hire vendors, they hire um, people to directly work for them. It's really fun. They um, rent out the entire event center and thousands of people come and hundreds of people get hired. It's, yeah. it's really exciting. This has provided um, over a billion dollars right. in infrastructure that has been 
poured into our community. Elon's generous donation to our downtown area, the $20 million to our ISD schools. Yep. These are kids that now have STEM programs and science programs. Um, we even have career training um, education in our high schools for um, aerospace engineering. There wasn't a lot here and now it's like one of the most influential futuristic spaceports or about to be. Like is that weird to you or like does it feel random? Well <laughs> I always felt like something really exciting was coming. Yeah. So for me that's not the part that strikes me as like oh wow what really gets me is like how did I know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, how did you know? What a coincidence that I happen to be here right getting into office and like all of this just happened in front of my eyes and I had such close seats to see everything from the start. To see the excitement in the community among students, amongst families that have been affected, that have found jobs. Mm -hmm. I personally know somebody that had reached out to me during that time looking for a job and then eventually found very stable employment with SpaceX. Yeah. So those are the stories to me. I know people get kind of like starstruck and awestruck with the magnitude of what it is. But for me, it's so much closer to home, um, something that I've just believed in, um, something that has provided for people that needed it. And you have to wonder, like, it's just, how did this find us? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. were the odds, right, well, of becoming and, the next spaceport? And fast forward to now, like, we're finally, looks like we'll actually, you know, finally see the orbital test flight that we've all been waiting for. And so yeah. what is that like to just see the culmination of this? It's really exciting and it just, it kind of takes me back and, and leaves me speechless. Um, I've always believed in SpaceX and their mission from day one, the day that they came in and told us what their plans were. And it has, when you start, the further you step back, you see, okay, well, it's not just providing jobs. This is security for mankind, right? Like, right. should there be a catastrophe? Um, and then you just start to realize, well, okay, well, this is happening in Brownsville. Like, Brownsville has such a vital role in that plan. Um, the birthplace of Starship, Brownsville, right? Boca Chica Beach, Starbase. Elon recently commented on your post uh, sharing that uh, little kind of statue that you have from the groundbreaking. And right. did it take longer than you expected? or? So I guess there was never any expectation because I never expected to still be in office 12 years later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, there's a different story. With that being <laughs> said, um, not that I expected to go anywhere, but I just, you know, you just never intend to stick around that long. But um, it's, it's definitely been a fun, wild ride. <laughs> yeah, why'd you stay? Why are you still here? So the city and building it um, to be the best of what it can be. And we've seen the potential and the excitement going on because of SpaceX, because of everything going on now, um, this boom that we've had in our city. And it really needs people that care about it and love, love it and believe in it. I just happen to be a person that I, I wanna build it and I wanna be a part of it. And I have so much to offer. Now, were you a space fan before SpaceX came here or did this obviously, I know you're a space fan now, but <laughs> were you always? So, Funny that you should ask, you know, I'm a Texan and the one place that we would always travel to is Johnson Space Center. I take a lot of pride knowing that, you know, Houston is, you know, it's kind of like our second capital, right? It's our space city. So growing up, we would always go there for field trips and whatnot, and it was always a big deal. Um, and then I had a little boy in 2006, and he just happens to be one of those really intelligent kids. Doesn't get it from me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I remember when he was a baby, he had a solar system mobile and he just was always into space and, and science and all of this stuff. So when this came, I was like, oh my God, I'm, like I finally have something interesting to tell my kid that happened at work. Yeah. And so he was just so excited. And that's kind of where it really took off in my life because I just happened to have a child that really loved science wasn't necessarily myself. I mean, I love space and I'm a huge yeah. fan, but I, that's where it really came in, that I had a child that really believed in that. And I was just a mother that encouraged him and had this going on at work. So that was kind of the bridge.
A lot of people want advice if they want to come see it. Well, there's a lot of hotels that are in Brownsville that are really nice. We have a few more that will be breaking ground soon. But the really cool thing is how close you can get to Starship. You can go visit the Rocket Garden, you can take your children, you can take photos as long as you don't step onto SpaceX property. But there's a Starbase sign out there that make for really good um, photos. I always tell people when they come like, you know, journalists and whatnot, like take your bathing suit with you because yes. the beach is gorgeous right next to it. It's hard to wrap your head around the significance that it has made in our community, but it's more than a blessing. It's, it's provided a lot for a lot of people. So I hope that you enjoyed that interview with Jessica. I've been following her on Twitter for some time now, but it was really great to come here to the Brownsville City Hall, see some history and also get to meet her in person. Again, she's really busy campaigning right now. It's just cool to hear from someone who has seen the journey of SpaceX here in Southern Texas since the very beginning. So if you like Starship related content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment for the algorithm and subscribe to Ellie in Space. It is absolutely free and I really appreciate the support because this is my full-time job and I love to cover what's in store for our future.